list the domain and the range of the following function. Now, you need to remember that, that your domain are your x values and your range are your y values. And they give you a graph. Now, in this case, my x values. So at what point do I start seeing a graph? So if you notice right here, even if I plug in a negative 5, I won't be able to find a graph. The first point where I start getting a graph will be at negative 3. So from negative 3 all the way to 5 and beyond 5. So if you notice, the arrow continues. So this graph is going to continue all the way through. So it will be from negative 3 to positive infinity. So your domain will be from negative 3. Now, it does include the negative 3. And they make it very clear because of the close dot. So we're going to place a bracket. If it's open or if there's an asymptote, there's going to be a parenthesis. All the way to positive infinity. Now remember, infinity will always get a parenthesis. Now your range. Your range are your y values. So at what point do I start seeing a graph? Remember, we go from the bottom to the top. From so at what point do I start seeing a graph? I start seeing a graph at negative 1. So I'll be from negative 1 all the way. Now, even though you can see a graph here and not at 3, this graph, we are expecting it to slowly, slowly, slowly continue to rise. As you go further to the right, it's still slowly rising. So therefore, it will be all the way up to positive infinity. Because even if you go 10 spots or 10 units up, the graph will still be rising. It will be way, way over there, but still be rising. So positive infinity. And this will also be a bracket since there's a closed dot here. So therefore, your domain has to be have a bracket at negative 3. So that one's closed, but it's not it and your range, so therefore your answer is letter D, letter E. So letter E matches our answer.